Hello, welcome back. It's UPM Game, and we are doing our dash cam comics. It is March. Bob, turn the car off. It is March 29th, the end of March. Um, and we're going to do last week, 24th? I don't know. 24th and the 29th, all in one today. Okay, let's try to get through it because uh, we got to try to keep this under five minutes. We got two weeks to do. So last week we're going to go through some things here. We get some books, some generic Marvel books. Well, good ones, good ones. Guardians of the Galaxy there, right? I like how they're doing these uh, uh, numbered issues. 12, the time of mercy is past. It's very cool. I like it. Next up, we have Excalibur 19. Oh, awesome cover. That is fantastic. These books are killing it, these X books. Um, the art, the style, how each book finally isn't just a division of teams, but uh, great all new stories. Very, very good. Oh, one of the best books. Look at this, baby. Carnage, number one. Awesome. Look at that cover. It's reminiscent of the Spider Man cover uh, on purpose, clearly. Um, black and white, Carnage. Uh, well, black, white, and red. Really, really good. Really well done. That's the big book that I wanted to get through um, this week. Along with Scream, number one. So within the same universe there, we got Venom, we had King in Black, we got Carnage, we got, now we have Scream. Um, doing her thing there, kicking ass. Very, very cool, very cool. Good book. Also, we picked up a brand new Harley Quinn, number one. So they're redoing Harley Quinn. This one's really cool. And in this one, the art is woo, very unique. She's very, very cartoony, uh, but has a unique and cool art style to her. We also got, uh, along that lines, Harley Quinn, the uh, the White Knight series, book six. I already bagged it. Um, so I got all six books of this so far. Really cool series, different timeline, alternate timeline. Uh, T Teen Titan Academy, number one. Now, Teen Titans uh, pretty much went to crap, I think. Uh, but Teen Titan Academy kind of brings back everybody. So instead of Robin leaving and having the new team, we get uh, Starfire, Raven, everybody back in this one. So we're back. Very cool. Hopefully this is a new book and the way to go. That was last week. That was around March 24th. I didn't have time to make a video, so I was going to do it in this one. For this week, March 29th, we have uh, Silk, number one. So this is Silk, bam, from the Spider-Man universe, if you know Silk, if you're familiar. Yeah. Very, very, very good book. Very excited for this. Um, I think she's really cool looking. She has a great story to tell. Uh, we have previous uh, Silk comics of her old series. I also got these covers. Now, um, I think they're, they're called Women's History Covers. That's the little deal going on right now. This is really cool. I got it because it was Silk number one, alternative cover. It was, uh, I love the way she's dressed. I think that's really, really cool. And with that, Black Cat also, we got the same cover there. So the new Black Cat with the same uh, Women's History cover on there as well this week. I picked up um, an older one, Death Metal number 7, but I really like the cover. I hadn't seen it. Wonder Woman cover where it's the alternate universe versus uh, the traditional universe. Very cool cover. I thought that was so awesome. Had to pick that up. Had to get it. Cut over to X-Men real quick. Uh, we got Return of the Valkyries number four. Bam. This book's been uh, really unique. Didn't think I'd like it at first, but it turned out to be a fantastic book. If you're not a big comic guy, familiar with uh, the Thor movie, uh, number three, Valkyries. X-Men Legends number two. Look at that. So we got old school X-Men drawn in the traditional oh, X-Men style. Look at that art. That is awesome. That's old school X-Men. That is really, really well done. Great stories in here. Excited to read that. I kind of missed this. I should have showed it with the other books, but we get the Emma Frost women's history cover. This is going to be really collectible. Really good uh, for the newest X-Men. And I guess I kind of missed this. This was Spider-Man. So we got a spider. Ooh, look at the, what's this all about. Ooh, we got a Spider-Man. He's in bagged. And if you open it up and you take off the white cover, you reveal the comic inside. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. That's what it's for. You can keep all these things bagged, but who cares? Oh, boom. Look at that. 
How cool is that? That's really cool. Look inside. We got the awesome Spider-Man comic. Ooh, back's even cool. Last up, we got the Jim Lee cover, Batman and Catwoman, Black Label, number four. Very awesome. I like this. There were so many different variant covers, but uh, I was lucky to get the uh, the Jim Lee version there. You got uh, being Black Label, of course. You know, I got uh, Catwoman there in her underwear. <laughs> I guess that's the appeal, is it's a more uh, adult book uh, for everybody there. But it just tells you more. We're good. Really good Batman story, not holding anything back. And finally, the last book I got, just a cheap $1 reprint, uh, True Believers. Now, this one has the first appearance of Black Widow and Dark Star. It's an old school, back in the day comic art man that's the original right there reprinted gotta love the haircuts yeah it's wonderful but that's it that's it for this week we got a lot of books man a lot of stuff a lot to get a lot to get through um still got the covid here it's terrible but what are you gonna do check us out upm gaming on twitch uh 10 to 1 in the morning most nights where we're playing and we'll have more of these uh dash cam comic things as we can all right guys have a good day see you man